evening, my countrymen. Again, we continue our weekly talk and uh, still hugging the headlines and, of course, the topic of everybody now is the COVID-19 and the corresponding uh, vaccine that uh, we have expected for a long time. At the dumating naman yung mga medicina. Hindi sabay-sabay. Just yesterday, June 6, we received another 1 million doses of Sinovac. This is, part, this is a part of the 10 million doses that we expect to receive this month, according to our vaccine uh, coordinator, Secretary Ka Carlito Galvez. Uh, coming our way would include Sinovac, Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Sputnik, and Moderna. Ang problema dito, yung nabakunahan na, uh, except for the one dose, I think Johnson and Johnson wala dito yan. Yung nabakunahan na, sa first injection ninyo, kailangan kayo ng booster, a second injection. Please find time to go back and line uh, there, line up and uh, uh, show your card so that they would know that you are receiving the second uh, dose. Booster po yan. Uh, alam mo, ang medisina nitong mga Sinovac, Sinopharm and the rest, dito ngayon, which are available in the Philippines, they require a second dose, booster. At kayong iisa lang, kulang yan. Pakilin niya lang uli for the second dose because ang protection ninyo is not complete without the booster. Uh, mahirapan talaga akong magkumbinsi sa Pilipino, lalo na yung matigas ng ulo. Kindly follow instruction. Hindi naman mahirap yan eh. You find time at your convenience na pumbalik doon, pumila, at magpabakona, at tinatawag nilang second booster. Yun ang magbigay sa inyo ng more or less uh, a good protection. But it does not guarantee that you will not be contaminated unless you observe the protocols of the washing of the hands again and mask and social distancing. Kasi hindi pa nawala talaga itong COVID-19. Uh, I want the authorities uh, and the LGUs to find out why this is happening and to take steps to return to their ma ma na sila na madala ng mga barangay captain pati mayors. Kindly help us ferret out uh, the persons who have not received the second booster until now. Nandiyan yung medisina. Pinakahintay natin halos isang taon. Kaya lang naman nakukulang-kulang talaga yung supply. So it took us time to receive our share. But now, medyo maluwang na ang mundo, nabakunahan na sa Amerika halos lahat they can afford now to share the residual uh, supply nila sa vaccine. Uh, paki, ano lang, kasi itong COVID na ito is a very toxic uh, thing and it can contaminate you again. There is no guarantee. Though it would give you a measure of uh, protection, it does not guarantee that you will not get COVID again. So, despite 
or in spite of your vaccines and boosters, please observe the basic protocol. Mask, hugas ng kamay, at uh, social distancing. Matatapos rin to, especially with your cooperation, matatapos ito, mas madali. Uh, June 5, the Global Community Celebrated World Environment Day to promote greater commitment to care our planet. Uh, sadly, however, the COVID-19 crisis also gave a rise to plastic waste and pandemic. The popularity of delivery of services has produced considerable solid waste such as the delivery of packaging of both food and non-food products. Also, a serious concern is the proper disposal of medical waste. Uh, there have been several reports of poor disposal. Alam mo ito, mga medisina na ito, babaon to. I remember one time when I was mayor, parang isang nurse, Diyan uh, lang sa Talomo area, sa beach, doon siya naghukay, doon sa sand, at doon niya inilibing. That is not the proper way to do it. You might as well wait for the garbage men to lock the garbage and uh, bakbalutin ninyo yung mga ano ninyo, uh, mga medisina, yung naturok na saka yung mga sirens, balutin ninyo, ibigay ninyo sa uh, basurero. Alam nila kung ano lang gawin nila. So, kung ayaw nilang sumunod, ay lang maniwala, walang katapusan ang COVID. Because there are a million and ten and uh, yung man napapakunahan malagay na natin you have breached the you have breached the 14 million mark ganun pa man yung naiwan would also be uh, in danger of contamination yan ang problema diyan sa mga tao na hindi nagkakaintindi ng ano nagkakaintindi pero ayong sumunod and uh, Yung sabi mo, murder, although medyo malayo masyado sa isip ng tao yan, but it is possible. If he knows that he is sick with COVID-19 and he goes about nonchalant, papasyal-pasyal ka lang dyan, uh, you are, uh, uh, maybe if it is intentional, uh, I malayo yan, pero it, it could be murder, sabi nga ni Sal. At kung hindi, yung reckless imprudence uh, would really mas swak doon sa sitwasyon na yun. Well, anyway, uh, as we go along in this journey, reading the pandemic from our country, we will uh, uh, adapt measures that would be commensurate to the gravity of the situation. Uh, ako, ayaw kong mag, ano, pero, uh, well, pag ayaw talaga ninyong sumunod at mahaba, gaya ng Mindanao, Mindanao, then Bacolod, and uh, kagayan di Oro, Nakita ko talaga, uh, I passed the place uh, while going home to Mindanao, na ang mga tao, bali wala, parang walang nangyari. Parang walang sakit. Parang walang, basta, pasyal ng pasyal. They go about their daily business, though not intentional of harming other people, but consciously having uh, the... COVID-19 in their bodies at alam mo yan at you do not uh, one of the protocols yan makakaproblema ka we might calibrate our response 
to the intransigence that you will show. Depende sa, sa, sa ano ninyo. Kung talagang ayaw ninyong sumunod, then we can go into marami. Marami. I, I, I could... Ayaw ko lang sabihin, but uh, we have the power to control it, actually. Kung ginusto lang namin pahirapan ang tao. Any other question? Any additional information? Pag wala, papasalamat ako sa sambayan ng Pilipino for their patience and to listen to what we are saying here. The truth is here. Dito ang totoo. Nandito ang totoo. Kasi sabi ko, walang obligasyon kaming magsinungaling. Ang amin is magtrabaho, magsabi ng totoo. Wala kaming agenda, wala kaming plano kung ano. Basta amin, trabaho lang. And, uh, hanggang sa katapusan ng araw ng aming pagtatrabaho sa gobyerno. Salamat po.